So I wanted to just do a quick tutorial because we've been getting a lot of requests for people that want to add text to their 360 videos. I wanted to explain a little bit how it works and what happens when you do it so that you can then take that and uh, experiment and get better with it. So basically what you're looking at here is it was an Adobe Illustrator file that I made and I'll show you what happens. This is 1504 by 1504 so when I drop this and make it an MPEG in Premiere um, just like I would drop it you know if it was a transparent background I could drop it into a movie and uh, I'll, I'll let you see what happens when when this is. The way to think about text is notice the the fly in the middle here that's gonna show up real nice um, so you can put anything up there and then these couple of circles are going to be a little bit distorted and then as you get down here by what I call the equator it's going to almost be uh, a flat text um, so I'll show you what that means right here so this is that same file brought into a, a movie uh, uh, this the 1504 by 1504 movie so you can see when I zoom out what happens. So the fly in the, on the top doesn't really get that distorted but you got to have to imagine it as it's then going to be draped over a snow globe so that you'll notice the way that the words are written are such that you can read it shot with 360fly 360fly.com and the way that is on the existing one is these are backwards these are you know shot with shot with because when you then kind of drape it over a snow globe they'll all be able to be read so there's a little bit of distortion here at the bottom just because I didn't line it up absolutely perfectly but I wanted to show you that this is the way that it interprets this is the way that it interprets an AI file or any file you can do it in Photoshop um, with text on a path. As long as you have the nice circle going, you can add logos. What I would do is add four logos, one here, one, one here, one here, and one here. That way when you drop it in, maybe at the beginning, you could have, you'll always have one um, to see. So the interesting thing about that is when you export it, because sometimes people want to edit with the 2560 by 1280 file, the best thing to do is to, to put your text or logos right along the bottom. Like so I could have brought this file into an a editor and just typed boom right across right across right near the bottom and it would show up when I then wrap it up for YouTube. However, if I put anything up up here, you'll see how it has to be that's the logo. So the logo that was normal is now all distorted because of the dome at the very very top of the dome there's actually only one pixel that goes all the way across so you'll see that things get stretched as they go more towards the dome on the top or if it's shot upside down down here on the bottom but in the middle you're pretty safe between here and here to add text all the way across or logos and with a little bit of adjustment they'll look they'll still look good as it gets wrapped up and put into YouTube so I hope that helps um, I you really just have to experiment on what looks good in your videos but uh, I hope it's a good starting point for adding text to your either your 1504 by 1504 square like this or if you want to add text to your um, flattened videos already you'll know that it's kind of between here and here that you're going to get the best uh, results once you wrap it back up again okay thanks